Hello and welcome to Get Fit by 50 special no chafing edition for fat people like me and maybe you too. This video is really for everyone, whether you're male or female and of any size because chub rub can happen to anyone. I'm Mark Lee and I'm going to lose 100 pounds before I turn 50 years old. I'm six weeks in and I've already lost 25.8 pounds so... Please subscribe to my channel and follow my weight loss transformation. Each week, I post a new video with my progress and updates and all new monologue every week. So it's fun. So please watch. Anyway, without further ado, let's get started. There's uh, tons of videos out there about stopping chub rub, but uh, none of them work all the time or for very long. So... It's all about stopping the friction. My method works every time with two simple items. You'll be able to sweat and walk around theme parks all day or go to an event. No problem, friction free. So first off, let's go over what does not work. You'll see videos that say to use deodorant. Yeah, that's me there. I'm shameless, but spray, stick, roll on. No matter what, deodorant does not last long or stop friction. And then you gotta reapply it often, so that's a no. Cornstarch. Yeah, it gives you a silky smooth thighs, but that doesn't last long and needs to be reapplied all the time. And uh, it makes a nice sweat roux down there, which you don't wanna have that. And then there's baby powder. Some baby powders are made with cornstarch and others are made with talcum powder. But still, that doesn't last long and has to be replied often and you got powder all over yourself. So, uh, Gold Bond, that's another popular thing that's out there that, uh, that's got the same stuff as the previous items with added menthol, which can burn, and salicylic acid, which, yeah, that's, that's acid. It's used for acne and also to remove warts. So you definitely want to use that before you go out walking for a long time. You're gonna probably burn and chafe, I don't know. I would never put that on. And then we come to another product called Glide. And actually this stuff is actually the best out there. But again, you still gotta reapply it. It's kinda like a deodorant stick and you know, it lasts way longer than the others and it's actually a good starter layer in addition to my method, which you know, we're gonna get to, I promise. <laughs> Glide works great for your feet though. If you want to stop blistering, just buy Glide for your feet. They sell it in different varieties or flavors for, they say, body and feet, whatever. It seems like it's all got the exact same stuff in it. So uh, just different names. I'll put the link in the description for the Glide. That's, that's a worthy one there. It's uh, definitely good to have around, but uh, it's not necessarily needed for my method. First off, don't be suckered into buying any of these expensive products with funny names containing basically the same thing as all the previous stuff I mentioned. You know, here's a few examples. All right, so let's take a look at some of these uh, other products with funny names. Here we go, we got the Fresh Balls. It's a uh, soothing cream and cooling powder. Dries as a powder, so that tells me there's menthol in there, burns. What do we got here? Manscaped, crop preserver, ball deodorant, anti-chafing, good old nut butter with uh, beast blue scent. Okay, so blue ball scent, nut butter. There's another nut butter. It's got the aloe and vitamin E, which most lotions do. So most of these things are like novelty items. Here's another one. Vegan Squirrels Nut Butter with one T. And what are the, the other people putting meat in their products? They got, this is vegan. <laughs> anyway, you know, these prices, 14 bucks. Squeaky Cheeks, <laughs> Body and Foot Powder, Cools and Invigorates. All right, so we're going with menthol in there. It says no talc, but uh, looks like cornstarch. Same thing as other stuff. Here's this one's funny name. Son of a bitch anti-chafe by Bitch Sticks. $20 for some 
chapstick stuff, which, what's in this stuff? A bunch of crap with uh, crazy names. Garlic bulb, you need garlic in some there, in there. Lemon fruit extract. Whatever Quirkos Alba Bark is, that's some crazy stuff. Probably doesn't work. Good old Chub Rub. That's uh, ripping the name off of the name Chub Rub. But uh, this is all natural. This is getting into the ladies stuff here now. We did the men's with the balls. Now here's all natural coconut oil and shea butter, which again, you can just buy other lotions that already have that probably cheaper than $12. This one's a funny one. Hoo-ha Ride Glide. It's the original skin and chamois cream formulated for women. Men can't use it because I guess they don't have hoo-hahs. You can't use the ball stuff either, women. All right, here we go. Monistat, that's a reputable product for women. This is a chafing powder, powder gel. So I guess it's a powder and a gel at the same time. Craziness. All right, well, that's about all the funny names except uh, for chafing stuff, but you always got to throw in the good old Astro Glide. It's a lubricant, but you never know. It might be good for chafing. Why don't you guys want to try it out and let me know how it works. All right, back to the video. See, funny names, but it's all the same crap. All right, so let's move on. Part one, not to chafing, is simply put your undergarments. All you need is fruit of the loom, polyester, spandex, long leg boxers. That's it. They're skin tight, they're flexible, they're stretchy, and they're super comfortable. They hug your thighs, they're super slick, there's no friction between your legs, and they keep the boys under control too. So yeah, basically it's that simple. In the end, it's all about the material. It, it must be polyester spandex combo that's uh, skin tight. Anything loose fitting is gonna cause chafing. So don't wear tighty whities or any loose fitting boxers. It's gonna, it's all about the fabrics basically. You know, if, if you use nylon, that's gonna rub you raw. Cotton, that's just like a sponge. It's got too much friction. You know, I found these Fruit of the Loom ones are the best bang for the buck, and I'm yet to wear out a pair in three years. I've, this is three years old right here. Still perfect shape. So at 20 bucks for a five pack, you can't beat it. So I don't know, five pack. Why the hell doesn't <laughs> underwear just come in a pack of seven? There's seven days in a week. It's probably like the same dumbass that uh, packs hot dogs and buns. They're never right either. Anyway, the link's in the description for these boxers. Now, if you're a female, the same thing applies. All you girls need to do is just wear leggings or yoga pants. You know, just make sure you get the polyester spandex kind. You know, and you can find shorts too, I think. But I don't know, I looked around. I don't know why women's things are always so much more expensive, but uh, you can get away with buying a pack of these men's ones and the extra ventilation may help out sometimes. Mm -hmm. So remember, these are just the undergarments. The next part is also necessary. All right, to complete my foolproof no chafing technique, we need one more item. If you're living large like I am, another issue, another issue that leads to chafing is keeping your damn pants up. Yeah, you can wear a belt, but when you got a flat ass or no ass like me, or shaped like an egg, or some vegetable, or a gourd, your pants don't want to stay up. And there's a constant war going on to keep your pants up when you're walking. You know, I think I have to make a, another video for the best fat person belt, because belt, belts are important too. But uh, anyway, so if you're weighted down by keys, cell phones, firearms, and other items, behold the hidden suspenders. These right here are the best thing ever designed for fat people. And no one even knows you're wearing them. They're soft and don't rub. They don't chafe you. you know, now one of the main reasons that you get chafing is a low crotch. 
Now, I'm talking about the pants. If you walk around with saggy pants and you got too much space between your actual crotch and the pants crotch, then you might as well throw some steel wool down there because uh, you're going to get chub rub. You know, I bet uh, those prison sex gangsters have some serious chafing issues. Anyway, you got to keep the pants up. And under the shirt suspenders, they do the trick. I call it my man bra. The link's in the description. So for women, you could just get away with the tight polyester spandex part and not over pants. But uh, if you're chunky like me, you may want to put on a pair of shorts and use the hidden suspenders anyway, you know, just so you don't wind up on that people of Walmart site. <laughs> don't want to have that happen. I mean, no one wants to see me running around in spandex by themselves either. You know, another reason is for women to wear shorts over the spandex is sometimes that dreaded camel toe. That's not sexist. It's a universal term for a nice way of saying what's going on down there. And maybe I'll name some more at the end of the video. All right, so really, that's all you need is these two things. Tight but stretchy long underwear and hidden suspenders to keep your pants up. Now, I haven't chafed at all a single time since I've been using that combination with daily walks or trips to theme parks or concerts. I live in Florida and it's the chafing capital of the world. So be sure to hit that like button and subscribe to get fit by 50. I'm waiting. All right, I got some bonus tips for the beach or swimming. This part is mainly directed to guys right here, but uh, you should always wear the good underwear, even under your swim trunks. But uh, if you get a bathing suit with one of those liners in it, like this, cut that shit out. Just cut it right out. Do a better job than I'm doing right now for the video, but you don't want that liner in there. You do not want the liner in there. That will rub you. It's not good. Basically, they uh, act like a cheese grater down there, especially the kind in this one here. This, uh, this netting one here. These kind are the worst. That right there will definitely cheese grate you. I lost my skizzers. Oh, so yeah, cut that shit right out of there too. You don't want this cheese grater in there. And now you can uh, do a better job, but uh, now, again, never free ball it. That's dangerous. Now I always wear a shirt when I swim because I'm not embarrassed that I'm fat, but just do it to avoid the sun. You shouldn't need the suspenders since you probably won't have anything in your pockets to weigh you down but you may have to resort to the hold your pants and walk technique. Now for the women, I try to find those bathing suits that are like shorts and they're still made out of the spandex. So, you know, no matter what, if you're at the beach all day walking around with the salt and sand in your crotch, chafing just might be inevitable. You, no matter what you do. So I just suggest you walk like you just got off a horse and you should be okay which is, is funny because that's exactly how you were going to walk if you've got bad chafing, like you just got off a horse. So preventative maintenance, you know, is always good. So do the, the, the horse walk before the chafing starts and then you won't have to worry about it. But that's basically all I can do with the beach, unfortunately. Um, so here's another tip related to, uh, chafing which is the dreaded monkey butt or ass crack chafing there's some similar products like we talked about before with the uh, same ingredients with uh, different funny names kind of like the other ones had but uh, it's the same stuff and they don't work very well so bottom line no pun intended you should not chafe on your butt ever it's not it shouldn't happen You've been slapping and rubbing those hams together since you started walking. If you chafe on your ass, then you got another issue going on, and that's basically called 
diaper rash. And 99% of the time in babies, diaper rash, it's not caused by walking around, they can't walk. It's caused by not changing a dirty diaper regularly. So if you don't, or cleaning them good enough. So when you're walking around with your ass chafing, that burn you feel, that's not from sweat. It's from poo. <laughs> it's from poo. So let's say you're walking around a theme park all day and farting, randomly farting. Eventually, that fart dust, it's gonna catch up with you and you're gonna start chafing. Or maybe you ripped a wet one or you got a slow leak and you got mud butt, whatever. If you're feeling squishy, go do a rewipe and flush out that bunghole. You'll thank me later. That's, that's, that's good stuff right there. So if, if for some reason, after those tips, you do still chafe, um, then no matter what, the best and only remedy is to clean up and coat that area with some good old Neosporin. That's the best. Neosporin beats everything. Just put it on before you go to bed and it's gonna, the chafing is gonna virtually be gone in the morning. All right, that's all I got to say about chafing. So thanks for watching. Have a wonderful day. Links for all the worthy products are in the description. Some might be affiliate links where I might get a small cut at no cost to you, but uh, I will get fit by 50 and lose 100 plus pounds. Please subscribe and please remember to use your turn signals. Now you probably heard of camel toe and moose knuckle, but have you ever heard of bikini biscuit, panty hamster, deer hoof, golden arches, cat paws, mule nose, meat drapes, dinner roll, crotch waffles, snot wallop, pole magnet, pocket pie, vertical smile, bearded clam, zipper muffin, sideways sloppy joe, the great divide, Levi lips, snatch satchel, pants peed up, mumbler, ninja foot, panty taco, yo-yo smuggler, sock and a flip flop, gene eater, hang time on a monkey, rhino hoof, hand roast beef, whisper pants, clam by pea flopper, beef curtains, melvin, wagon ruts, roll bologna, vertical taco, snot sock, split tail, gravy dish, veggie, poon crease, leather brake pads, vacuum bubble, buffalo gums, whisker biscuits, rooster jaws, beaver teeth, bologna flap over, skin canoe, the big W, beetle hood, hefty club, folded pancake, tongue roll, fortune cookie, bearded taco, calamari crescent roll, slot pocket, clam around, blunt front, folded pancake, panty muffin. Yeah, bitch. Thanks for watching Get Fit by 50. Please subscribe to my channel and also follow us on the social links listed in the description below. And why don't you go ahead and watch another one of our videos.